and welcome to Flavorful Eats. Today we have a wonderful, wonder fruit called avocado in our topics amidst <laughs> with Shilpa Bhatt and Sumana Bhatt. Yes. Welcome, welcome to Flavorful Eats and show Thank us you. what we're doing with this wonder fruit, omega-3, lots of omega-3 in it too, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. that's right. So again, just as what Hamsha said, it is, a, it is a fruit. I know a lot of people use it as a vegetable, uh, but it's, uh, it's great. It's, it's also called butter fruit. I think in many of the Asian countries, that's what mm -hmm. it's called. Um, you know, it has a really um, hard textured exterior, but in a very, uh, a very nice buttery. interior, buttery interior. We're going to be making the classic guacamole. That's right. Shilpa style. She's going to be showing <laughs> us the ingredients, a little twist and a little, some of the ingredients that she's going to be using uh, yeah. from the traditional guacamole. All right. So um, I guess we'll just go over everything right now. So first off, we have onions, um, cilantro, tomato, garlic, some red chili pepper, cayenne pepper, salt and black pepper, um, lemon, and then of course avocado, which I will be mashing. Easiest way to do this is just scoop it out with a spoon. So that's Absolutely. what I'll be doing. So we're doing a chunky guacamole, correct? Um, I do like to mash down the avocado pretty well, but I do leave a few chunks in there. Yes. 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 And yes. of course the tomatoes and everything will also provide a little bit of the chunkiness right. too. So. Yes, yes. <clears throat> so yes, the cayenne pepper and the red pepper gives a little bit of heat and adds a little bit more zing, right? That's right. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, uh, yeah, and just with regard to the guacamole itself, um, you know, I mean, we, uh, Shilpa's just gone ahead and cut it, you know, gone ahead and uh, twisted it, made it into half. Right. And uh, yeah, but how do we choose a good This is um, it. How do you guacamole? choose a gua good avocado? Avocado, yeah, that's right. So how do we choose that? So what we, uh, what we generally do is in the store, I think the, the variety that's best for guacamole is a has. Mm -hmm. That's the that's a variety and uh, it's what a you'd like to do. Mexican avocado, correct? Exactly, and it's yeah. I think the origin of this mm -hmm. is uh, Mexico. So uh, and as you see, I think many of the dishes that we are making are a kind of uh, guacamole is a Mexican dish. Mm -hmm. uh, but in addition to that, because of it's it's a superfood, we yes. have people. You know, it's used in it's thrown into everything now, right? Absolutely like, everything. Yeah, they're making avocado chips. I don't know whether you saw that, and, you know, they, they're using the air fryer, not necessarily, you know, putting deep frying, right. otherwise the oven. So there's a lot of things people are doing with avocado. Right. And I mean, you put it in wraps, throw it in salads. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, we have the avocado toast. I think every brunch place nowadays mm -hmm. has, has that on their menu, you know, the right. avocado toast. And uh, we also see milkshakes nowadays, mm -hmm. you know, and that's, again, one of the items that we're going to be, the avocado toast as well as the... Uh, milkshake is some of the items that we're going to be uh, uh, showing to you today. Thank you. <laughs> all right. All right. Okay, well, so since I'm like done scooping out all the avocados, I'm just going to go ahead and start mashing it. Um, so one fun fact I'm sure everybody knows is when you cut an avocado, and if you don't want it to oxidize or get brown, just put a little bit of lemon juice over it, and that seems to serve the purpose. Right. Very much like an apple, right? Right. Mm -hmm. The yeah. quercetin in apple that makes it brown in the uh, do you want me to go ahead and add the, uh, squeeze the lemon out too? We can do that. You can, yeah. <laughs> okay. And the, there you go. Do you want this? The there squeeze? We go. Yeah, sure. You can bring your, maybe we can just yes, use it. We'll put it out way. here. Uh -huh. Use this so that we can squeeze it out, squeeze the juice out of it. So the other thing is, you know, most people are, are afraid to eat avocados because they think it's very fattening. But really speaking, you'd rather eat the avocado than having the avocado oil. It's less processed and it's got your omega-3, which is good for brain health. Yeah. And all those vitamins, right? You want to run through the vitamins that you know that uh, avocados have? Yeah, I mean, it's supposed to be really a lot of minerals, a lot of vitamins. It has the folates uh, yes. in it. You have um, a lot of uh, folic vitamin acid. C, vitamin E. Mm. Folic acid. Folate is, yes. Yeah. The folic acid is the genuine one. Folate right. is the main one, yeah. Yeah, Which so is it's a really B, B group. Yes. Correct, right. Yeah, so this is really, I mean, it's a very nutritious, it, it has, it's very rich in protein. And that's what they say a once you have a it, yes. avocado sandwich, 
you know, and a person who doesn't have an avocado sandwich, I think they say that uh, you're supposed to be, you know, you don't, you feel really full, mm -hmm. and you don't feel like eating snacks like for the next three hours. So that's uh, that's really good. Spoon for the spices. Yes. All right. Should I go ahead and put in a little bit of the yeah? Lemon? Go ahead. Yeah. So you use three little uh, avocados like this, correct? Mm -hmm. And to that you're adding just half a lemon. Yes. Okay. Do you want me to cut up the fourth one too? No, I think that should be fine. Okay. Um, all right. So next thing I'm going to add in are the onions. Um, so it looks like a lot of onion there. So one huge onion yeah, chopped up or two? It does yeah, look like one. a lot. I think I'm only going to use about half of half this. Half of this, yeah, that's right. We I can, can just use the spoon. Spoon, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Although we do like to have a lot of onions. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, a couple onions are not bad. You know, it's, it's good for you too. Yeah, so I mean, it's not as pungent as the other onions. So. Right. No, it's not. All right, so that's about onions. And then... Let's see, I'll get some tomatoes in here as well. We're just going to use all of these tomatoes. Made it very easy by chopping it all in advance, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then we're going to put some garlic in here as well. I'm again going to use all of this. I really like garlic, love the flavor. <laughs> so so like just going to use three, all of it. Chop up I think this. it was three cloves? Yeah, about three yeah. cloves, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Three cloves. All right. And so we'll get this all mixed up. Yeah, it looks really colorful already. Mm -hmm. and there's a teaspoon, for half a teaspoon measure for you for your spices. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or if you want a smaller one, I have it too. Once everything is prepared, see how simple it is to put together? Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is a really easy, quick dish, and it tastes really good. good so, yeah. and you can use it even for sandwiches, right? Maybe as a mm -hmm. yes, you spread it on sandwiches. You can yeah. So I'm gonna do about, let's see, I think like a quarter teaspoon of salt, and then same amount of black pepper as well. And mm -hmm. if somebody is watching for this salt, they don't need to add salt. They don't need to add salt, yes. The cilantro, the lemon juice brings up a lot of flavor too. Mm -hmm. yes. And for a little bit of a kick, some cayenne pepper. <laughs> Just a little pinch. Okay, let me do a little less. <laughs> I don't want it to be too spicy. Yeah. All right, there That's we really go. Good. And then just so a no pinch of red no. chili flakes. We're just using uh, pepper out here. Okay. Just pepper, yep. Oh All right. Word, you are very and brave. Mix that up. I like the guac with a little bit of a kick. Yeah, you talk about putting your finger into the chili peppers. Oh, yeah. I'll make sure to wash my hands. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, I know I saw you wash before. Too, so. <laughs> but you know what oh, happens? It looks really I mean, good. I get, I actually have my fingers burn when I touch uh, the peppers. Oh, really? Whether it's cutting green chilies or, yeah. Oh, wow. All right. It's all there done. we have it. And then I always finish it up with some cilantro. Right. Yummy. Just. Oh, it looks really good. Uh, there we go. All right. So we're doing an avocado toast, which is very basic, I know. But we're going to be doing a little twist to it um, and adding a balsamic drizzle and some tomato on top. Um, so our ingredients for it are some, uh, well, obviously toast, which you've already toasted with some um, garlic olive oil, um, salt and pepper as usual, some tomato that we're going to be slicing, uh, mascarpone cheese, which we are um, going to be spreading on the toast, some basil to go on top, and then the balsamic drizzle. And I have one full avocado that I've already mashed up over here that we're going to spread over four toasts. All right. All right. So um, pretty easy to construct. We basically just take a piece of toast, get our mascarpone cheese. I would say that's the twist. Not very many people think of mascarpone cheese. Right? No. Yeah, on the avocado toast, right? An avocado, <laughs> yes. And uh, oh, it looks delicious. It just adds a little bit more protein to the whole uh, dish. And yeah, and it's a bit, it's creamy, it's tangy, it's like a really nice flavor to go along with it. And so smooth. Mm -hmm. So I guess yeah, it goes well with the avocado, right? Avocado is, is also same. smooth and buttery. Instead right. of butter, one can use that. Instead of mayonnaise, one can use ma uh, avocado. Mm-hmm. And yeah. Um, 
now, oh, I should have done this before, but I'm going to be cutting the tomato just into a thin slice. So we'll just take a little bit over here. Cut thin slice. And to round up, uh, uh, you know, microgreens would be very good too. Um, makes it that much more whole wholesome. Mm -hmm. So for this piece, I'm just going to be using two thin slices. But first, I'm going to get the avocado on there. Mm -hmm. So we'll just take use another knife. Yeah. Just a little bit, kind of spread it on top. It's like spreading frosting on a cake, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just make sure the corners get it and everything else. Mm -hmm. All right. Then we have our tomato, which is just going to go on like that. And um, I'm going to take just a bit of basil, get that on there. little pinch of salt and black pepper. You don't need too much because there's so much flavor and everything else. And then we have our balsamic drizzle. So just, you don't want too much because that'll overpower everything. But just a nice little drizzle like that. Absolutely. Oh, wow, it looks that really is yummy. Right? That is really awesome. looks very nice. <laughs> We'll get that on there. Mm -hmm. All right. So you want to do a next one too? Yeah, sure. So we have our toast. Just Again, I got our. Thing. Yeah, I think that looks good. Right. Yeah. This is mm -hmm. yeah. It's not lost. Mm -hmm. Oscar pony cheese. Uh, slicing um, the avocados. Can, yeah, should I go ahead and do that? The slicing avocados can also add another dimension to that sandwich if you want to do for presentation too. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, absolutely. And some people do that. I like it mashed though. <laughs> yes, it's also from preferences. Yes. Yes. Wow. All right. All right. Some thin slices here. Oh, this looks super healthy and super tasty. Yeah. Right? Refreshing, right? Yeah. And if you wanted, you could even make mini versions on crackers, and it oh, could be yes, just like a little snack. Right. Um, you can kind of can use this. Yeah. Um, adapt this recipe in any way that you want. So and, uh, that's the best part about it. And if you have children at home, this is a great one to get them involved. To get the right, that's oh, true. Yes. Because mm -hmm. it's easy, easy enough to, mm -hmm. as long as you have all the basic ingredients. Yes. Yeah, yeah, put good. a buffet th of stuff out there and they'll pick what they like. Right. All right. All right, Shilpa, that really <laughs> looks so <laughs> yummy. Thank yeah, you. we're just like <laughs> cranking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sumana, looking forward to the delicious smoothie. That's what you're doing next, correct? Yes. An avocado well, so smoothie. That's right, an avocado s uh, smoothie. And uh, this is a really nutritious you know, we will definitely, it's great to have this after uh, a, an intense workout. And uh, let me talk about the ingredients on this. So we have uh, avocado mm -hmm. and uh, as a sweetener, I have uh, dates. We can also use honey or um, agave or whatever, but jaggery. this is of course jaggery, but I think this is the most nutritious um, sweetener, I would say. And then in order to increase uh, port the protein, in the in the shake and make it more nutritious we're going to be using some flax seeds as well as some chia seeds and uh, the milkshake the base of it is we're using almond milk mm -hmm. and uh, uh, in addition to almond milk i mean instead of almond milk you can also use dairy or you can use oat milk or um, soya milk uh, you know whatever works for or you or plain water yeah hey because you got the, yeah, the avocado the taste. It gives you the, the taste, right? Yes. And then we'll be garnishing it on top with pistachios. So that's uh, uh, that's where we are. So should we go ahead and get started? Yes, please do. We're starting right. off with water, correct? Yeah, that's right. In so we're going to go ahead and put, you know, this could get uh, a little thick. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a cup of water. 
And again, we're putting everything into the blender. All right, I'll go ahead and put some, um, I think four cups of almond milk. Let me just shake it first. Oh yes, important. Yeah. <laughs> right. uh -huh. So, um, you know, another good point for avocados is for uh, people that are studying, it's very good for your brain health, or just, not just studying. Everybody needs good brain health. For the omega-3s, so you've got your flaxseed omega-3, chia seeds omega-3, and your avocado. Right. And then we're dropping in about four or five, one, two, three, four, five. Five uh, almonds. So I'm just going to drop that yeah, dates. here. Dates, sorry. So you've dates. got uh, the medjool dates, right? Not the deglet. That's deglet. right. Okay. Because one is a little sweeter than the other. The two varieties. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we can check the packet, uh -huh. but it's from Costco. <laughs> 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 All right, so let's start with... Um, avocado. With avocado. So you're going to be putting maybe one first or one and a half first and then check whether it's thick enough and add more as needed. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, so uh, we'll start with one and then if it's, uh, if it's too watery, then hey, we can add one more. Exactly, one more avocado. yeah. We can yeah. always add, but we cannot subtract right. after made. So, so let's go ahead and uh, toss this into the. Oops. Yes. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right. So let's put in the chia seeds. That's next. And then we'll throw in the flax seeds. All right. So, so if I you thought that this ahead of time, you can actually soak the chia seeds and then add it in also in the water. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, yes. Yeah. All right. So it looks like our milkshake is all is our all smoothie ready. Smoothie is ready. Yeah, milkshake smoothie is all ready. So we're just going to go ahead and pour it out into. Oh, oh wow, yeah, it looks that looks really creamy and, and yes, nice. I think you had the right amount of uh, avocado there. Right. So it was like one and a half avocados for four cups of milk. So you want uh -huh. to put the rest of yours in your pitcher? Yes, and we'll put the rest in a pitcher. Oh, wow. That's a very pretty green, huh? Yeah, and it's really smooth and... Okay. Yeah, there you go. All right, and let's go ahead and garnish with some uh, pistachio. That should be good. So let me just go ahead and do that. Oh, it's too heavy. It's falling. <laughs> yeah, it's falling. Maybe you need your fingers. Uh -huh. Yeah. Or slice it and put it in. There you go. Yeah. There we go. All right. All right. So sorry. Excuse me. Handing. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. You right. want to take that out of the way? Yeah, we'll take it out of the way. Voila. Can Voila. <laughs> we have this. It's right here. All right. You want to try? You want to try some of the uh, toast? Yeah, sure. I've been excited to do this. <laughs> so, Mina, I know you're excited about guac. Guac, yeah, sure. Let's go ahead and uh, dig in. Dig in. Mm-hmm. Just it's the really right good. amount of flavorings, correct? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's really good. <laughs> so, mother and daughter want to do cheers with a lovely smoothie. Sure. I'll get you. I'll. I'll <laughs> I get a plate. Thank you. You're welcome. All well, right. That is a awesome work you've done. Yo, cheers, right, Mom. Cheers, cheers, cheers and thank great you. Great episode. Yeah, thank <laughs> you so much for the, you know, you can't beat the old classics. I know people have seen this over and over, but it's still, we have our little touch to it, right? Right. <laughs> that yes. makes it that much more special. Special. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yes. So thank All you right. so much. Thank you, Thanks Shilpa. a lot. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> thank you, Shilpa, for taking out time from your busy schedule to be here. <laughs> yeah, that's it. She's not going to be around now. Uh, yes. You yes. Know. I don't know when uh, <laughs> next we'll have you in. But you know, now with Zoom, we can do things anywhere, right? That's right. true. <laughs> yes. We'll try and get that going nicely. <laughs> so we can have that going. And Shilpa, Sumana, thank you always for graciously coming and giving us some great show, some great work that you put into this all. <laughs> thank you. Thanks a lot. Thanks, and everyone. To all the audience, thank you so much for always keeping us company, watching, and always remember, available on actontv.org, on the YouTube page. And any questions or comments, can write to flavorfuleats at gmail.com. I'm your host, Ramsha Naidu, guest, Sumana Bhatt, 
and super bad. Thank you so much. Thank Take you. care and good nutrition is always good for good health. <laughs> yes.